systematic and expository study of the Bible at the Deeper Life Bible Church offers you an enriching steady spiritual growth, thus opening your eyes to God's own way of righteousness. In this case, you will have the opportunity to listen to one such enriching Bible study. So, prepare your hearts to be blessed. Let us pray. Almighty God, we thank you for our Bible study tonight. You have commanded us not to forsake the assembling of ourselves together. In obedience to your word, we have come together so we can listen to what you have to tell us. We remember that your word says, Blessed are those that hear the word of God and they keep the word of God. We remember how you said that Mary has chosen that good part which nobody will be able to take away from her. We have chosen this necessary part of studying the word of God regularly. We exalt this word above our necessary food. And we are praying, O oh Lord, that nothing of this life will take this precious thing away from us in Jesus' name. And we pray that as we study, this word will influence our heart, our spirit, our soul, our mind, our body, and influence everything that we do in Jesus' name. Lori okan wa lori emi wa lori ara wa lori ero wa lori ipinu wa lori gbogbo ipa igbe aye wa ni oruko Jesu I pray that as we come to this precious important passage tonight you will speak to our very hearts Mo ngba dura wi pe bi ati nwa si bi ikeko papa julo akori pataki to se bi eti asale yi e o ba okan wa soro Thank you Lord for answering Adupe Oluwa n tori pe eti dahun In Jesus name we pray Ni oruko Jesu ni agbadura Today we come to Revelation chapter 3. We have been having this important series in the a book of Revelation. We have been looking at the lives of all the various churches in Asia Minor. And these things are recorded not only for those seven churches in Asia Minor, but the Lord Jesus Christ concluded every letter by saying, he that has an ear to hear, let him hear what the Spirit says unto the churches. Our prayer is that God will give every one of us ears to hear what the Spirit is saying to the churches today. And that as we hear these things will sink very deep into our hearts, into our ears, into our mind. Because actually that is a very concern of the Lord Jesus Christ that we will not just hear and pass over what we are hearing. We will hear and it will have an impact, a deep impact in every one of our lives. Let's look at it, Revelation chapter 3 for tonight, verses 7 to 13. And to the angel of the church in Philadelphia write, These things says he that is holy, he that is true, he that, is, that has the key of David, he that openeth and no man shutteth, and shutteth, and no man openeth. Ati si angeli, ijo, ni Philadelphia, kowe, nkan wanyi, ni aniti o jemima, ni wi, 
eni ti se olooto eni ti oni kokoro dafidi eni ti o si ti ko si eni ti yo ti eni ti o si ti ti ko si eni ti yo si i know thy works behold i have set before thee an open door and no man can shut it for thou hast a little strength and hast kept my word and hast not denied my name emi mo ise re ki yesi mo gbe ilekun ti o si kale ni waju re ti ko si eni ti o le ti pe iwo ni agbara die iwo si pa oro mi mo iwo ko si se oruko mi behold i will make them of the synagogue of satan which say they are jews and are not but do lie behold i will make them to come and worship before thy feet and to know that i have loved thee ki yesi emi o mu awon ti synagogue satani awon ti won wi pe ju ni awon ti won ki si se be sugbon ti won sheke ki yesi emi o mu ki won wa wole ni waju ese re ki won si mo pe emi ti fe o because thou hast kept the word of my patience i also will keep thee from the hour of temptation which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth nitori ti iwo ti pa oro suru mi mo emi pelu yo pa omo kuro ninu wakati idanwo tin bo wa de ba gbogbo aye lati dan awon tin gbe ori ile aye wo behold i come quickly hold that fast with thou hast that no man take thy crown ki esi emi nbo nisisin yi di eyi ti iwo ni mu sinsin ki eni keni ki o ma se gbade re him that overcometh will i make a pillar in the temple of my god and he shall go no more out and i will write upon him the name of my god and the name of the city of my god which is new jerusalem which cometh now out of heaven from my god and i will write upon him my new name eni ti o ba segun oni emi o fi se ohun ohun ninu temple olorun mi o n ki yo si jade kuro ni be mo emi o si ko oruko olorun mi si ilara ati oruko ilu olorun mi ti se jerusalem titun ti o n ti orun sokale lati odo olorun mi wa ati oruko titun ti emi ti kara mi he that has an ear let him hear what the spirit says unto the churches eni ti o ba ni eti ki o gbo ohun ti emi n so fun awon ijo that's the passage we intend to study tonight e bi kika ti a lero pe a ti keko la leyi ni yi and we have titled this passage the blessings of the loyal faithful church asi ti pe akole ibi ti an ka yi ni awon ibukun ijo looto ati olododo if you have noticed in all these letters that jesus wrote through be through John the beloved unto the churches you will notice some clear points in each of the letters si o ba ti se akiyesi fini fini ni iwe tabi letter ko kan ti Jesu Christ oluwa ko si awon ijo won yi ni pase John Olufe o se akiyesi awon koko pataki kan ninu awon letter na number 1 you will notice in each of the letters Christ is introducing himself la koko na ninu iwe tabi letter ko kan yo se akiyesi pe Christ koko so eni ti o nje fun won number 2 you will see a revelation of the knowledge of Christ concerning their works their faith their patience their love their activities ekeji ori ifian imo Jesu Christ oluwa nipa ise won nipa igbe aye won nipa iwa won ati nipa orisirisi oju se ti won se number 3 you will see the praise the commendation that Christ himself gave unto them as a result of the good things he found in the church eketa ti o tun se akiyesi ni be ni iyin tabi ibu olafun kikini ku ori re fun ise ase pe tabi iru ise ati la la ti won se ti christ ri ninu aye won tabi ninu ijo na but then immediately following that praise or the commendation you will see the condemnation you will see the correction you will see that christ was telling them nevertheless or not withstanding i have this against you sugbon lese kese leyin ibori yin fun yi tabi yin ti a fi fun ijo yi ni ori pe christ tun ba won wi tabi pe o n ton won sona o si nse atun se awon kan ninu aye won to ku die ka to o wa le wi pe sugbon eyi ni mo ri wi si yin pe e ti se tibi tabi e ti se ton then you will see that he will offer counsel and he will tell them that you need to repent you need to turn you need to get back your first love you need to get this or get that and then he will attach to that either a threat if they did it or a promise if they did o tun wa se akiyesi pe leyin eleyi christ yo wa fun won ni imoran nipa ohun to n re ti pe ki won se nipa igbese ti won ni lati gbe pe won ni lati ronu kuwada won ni lati se se won akoko won ni lati tun ti bi se tabi ton se ti o ti baje 
lẹyin ti o ba ti gba won ni imoran yi tan yo wa tun fi ikilo kan si tabi ileri ikilo pe ti won ba ko lati se ohun ti ohun pa la se ohun bayi ni yo sele tabi ileri pe ti won ba se ohun ti yo je ti won gege bi olugboran ni then he will give them the reward awaiting the overcomers in every one of those letters and then apply it to all the churches saying he that has an ear to hear let him hear what the spirit says unto the churches lẹyin eyi ni yo wa fun won ni ere ti o nduro de awon asegun yo si mu da won loju wi pe eni ti o ba segun ere bayi tabi ton yo je tire yo si wa wi pe ki se fun ijo yi ni kan ni ere ere yi wa fun sugbon pe wa fun gbogbo ijo eni ti o ba ni eti ki ogbon ti emi so fun awon ijo in all these churches that jesus christ sent the messages to there were two churches that were very peculiar they had all these points minus one all these points except one all these points except condemnation and reproof Ninu gbogbo awon ijo mejeje ti Jesu Christ Oluwa fi letter yi sowo si gbogbo won ni o je pe gbogbo awon koko ti amenu ba won yi ni Jesu Oluwa ma menu ba ninu ijo won aya fi ijo meji pere ti o da duro ti o je aroto ti o si je akan se ni ti pe gbogbo awon koko toku lo wa ni be aya fi eyo kan soso ni ko si ni be ikan ti ko si ni be na ni ibawi and it is such a church we're looking at tonight the church that was loyal the church that was faithful there was no point of condemnation against that church there is it possible for a church to be in such a wonderful state, a spiritual state, that Christ will not have a single word of rebuke, will not have chastisement, will not have condemnation, but everything will be praised because it satisfies Jesus Christ completely. Ninu igboran pipe si Kristi to be ege ti o je pe Kristi ko ni ni oro ibawi tabi oro idajo tabi oro idalebi kankan fun iru ijo be loni ibi if it was possible for two of these churches of Asia Minor i believe that if you want the church you belong to to be like that today with prayer with perseverance with reading the word of god studying the word of god and applying the word of god to every heart present i believe that the church can be like that today ti o ba se se fun awon ijo meji ni ni akekere asia ti jesu oluwa fi awon iwe yi sowo si lati le je pipe be to be ge ti christi ko ni oro idalebi tabi iba wi fun won o se se sibe loni nipa adura re nipa ifayaran nipa kika oro olorun nipa kike konu bibeli ati gbigboran si lati mu ki ijo je pipe bi ti ijo philadelphia loni and so we want to look at this church today the loyal the faithful church nitori na ijo yi ni afe gbeyewo loni ijo oloto ati olododo the five points we are going to treat on the outline as they come out very clearly in the passage that we have read koko marun ni afe yiri rewo ti a si fe keko le lori ninu ibi kika na bi o ti fara nibi ti a ti katele number 1 one righteousness of Christ. Akoko ododo Christi. Number two reasons for commendation for praise. Ekeji awon idi fun igbo riyin tabi yin. Number three the riches of Christ's grace. Eketa awon oro ore ofe Christi. Number four readiness for his coming. Ikerin imura sile fun bibore. And then number 5 reward for the conqueror. I pray that these uh, points as we study them will challenge you to be a person that is so loyal, that is so faithful, that is so giving to the word of God that at least on the final day Christ will not have a word of condemnation but all commendation even for you. Adura mi ni wi pe bi a tin keko ninu ibi kika yi ati awon koko agbeyewo wa yi pe ki o le pe onija to be ge to je pe lopinrin ajo re laye nigbati o duro niwaju christi ki o ma se ni oro idalebi tabi idajo kankan fun o sugbon ki o le je iboriyin nikan my prayer is that whatever was able to make it possible for Enoch to be to live a life a life that was holy a life that was righteous with no condemnation but all praise and appreciation from the almighty God whatever made it possible for him how i pray that God will make it possible for you adura mi ni wi pe o n gbogbo ti olorun bi sinu aye Enoch ti o mu ko se se fun lati gbe igbe aye pipe igbe aye mimo ti o gbe to be ge to je pe olorun ko ni oro idalebi tabi idajo 
tabi e gan kan kan fun bi ko se iborin ati ibola fun pe olorun yo fi fun iwo pelu ki o ma se si idalebi kan kan fun oni ojo ikeyin and whatever made it possible for people like joseph for people like samuel for people like shadrach meshach and abednego and people like isaiah people like jeremiah people like daniel that god had no word of condemnation against that god will work out such grace in your own life that just like we're reading for this church now it will be like that for you in jesus name ati pelu pe o yo wu ti o mu ko se se fun awon eniyan bi josephu awon eniyan bi samueli awon eniyan bi shadrach meshach ati abednego awon eniyan bi danieli awon eniyan bi jeremiah ati awon eniyan bi isaiah ti olorun ko ni oro idalebi tabi idajo fun to be ge to je pe ibori yin lati odo olorun nikan ni won ni pe olorun yo si ohun kan na ninu aye re ki o ma ba gba idalebi tabi idajo sugbon ibori yin lati odo olorun lojo ikeyin as i read these passages myself and i look myself as part of the leadership in this church that we belong to my prayer is that god will do whatever needs to be done any rearrangement that it needs to rearrange and anything that it needs to purge out anything that it needs to separate us from anything that it needs to do the fire of refinement and the fire of purging whatever it needs to do that the church we belong to this deep alive bible church the majority of the churches may have word of condemnation word of correction word of chastisement and even words of threatening but how i pray that god will so prepare this church and so purify this church and so purge this church and so prepare us for the coming of the lord that on that final day this will be one of the churches that god will just command and there will not be a word of condemnation if it was possible for the church in smana possible for the church in philadelphia why shouldn't it be possible for our own church if we desire it if we pray for it if we do everything that we need to do so that our church will be that glorious church without spot without wrinkle without blemish but holy and without any evil at all my prayer is that this church will belong to every one of us will do what we ought to do to make it a possibility it is possible adura mi ni wi pe gege bi okan ninu awon adari ninu ijo yi lati le ri pe ijo yi je ijo ti ko ni ni alebu tabi egan kan kan pe on yo wu ti olorun ba ni lati se ninu wa tabi laarin wa ti o mu ka je ijo pipe ijo logo ijo ti ko ni alebu ti ko ni aba won ti ko ni gba oro idalebi tabi idajo tabi kilo lati enu oluwa lojo ikeyin sugbon ti yo je pipe ni iha gbogbo pe gege bi olorun ti mu ki ijo smana je ijo to logo ti o si tun ran ijo philadelphia lowo lati je ijo ti ko ni alebu kan kan pe bi o ti le je pe opolopo ijo lo wa ti o le gba idajo tabi idalebi ki olorun ki o fo wa mo ki o we wa ki o mu ki ina ti o ma n so wura di pipe ki o sise ninu aye wa to be ge ti o je pe lojo ikeyin ko ni si idalebi kan kan pupo ninu wa opolopo wa lapa gege bi omo ijo ijo yi ijo deeper life a o le wa siwaju oluwa lai ni idalebi kan kan to wa se se fun ijo to wa ni philadelphia o se se fun awon apele ni kore ofi olorun now let's look at point 1 the righteousness of christ ba ye je ka wo koko kin ni ododo christi and see how christ introduce himself ki a si wo bi christi se fi ara re han and to the angel of the church in philadelphia right this thing says he that is holy he that is true he that has the key of david he that openeth and no man shutteth and he that shutteth and no man openeth ati si angeli ijo ni philadelphia ko we nkan won yi ni eni ti o je mimo ni wi eni ti se oloto eni ti o ni kokoro davidi eni ti o si ti ko si eni ti yo ti eni ti o si ti ti ko si eni ti yo si here the lord jesus christ introduce himself to this church as he that is holy ni ni jesus christ oluwa gbe fi ara re han fun ijo yi gege bi eni ti o je mimo as he that is true eni ti se oloto and as he that has the key of david ati eni ti o ni kokoro davidi as he that openeth and no man shutteth ati eni ti o nsi ti ko si si eni ti o yo ti and as he that shutteth and no man openeth ati eni ti o si ti ti ko si eni ti yo si very clearly we are told of the righteousness of christ ni ona ti o kedere aso fun wa nipo ododo christi ni be that is holy is true and is faithful we o je mimo o je oloto o si je olododo we also told that he has a key of david atun so fun wa pelu pe oni kokoro davidi that key symbolizes authority and power kokoro yi tumo si ase ati agbara this is telling us that jesus christ has the sovereign and the ultimate power that he has all authority 
eyin so fun wa wi pe Jesu Christ Oluwa ni gbogbo ase ati gbogbo agbara gege bi alakoso to ga julo let us look at that in other parts of the word of god e je ke awo eyi ninu awon ese mi ran ninu oro olorun that is holy that is true that is faithful that he has all power that he has all authority pe o je mi mo pe o je olooto pe o je olododo pe o je eni to ni gbogbo agbara ati ase in hebrews chapter 4 and verse 15 ninu heberu ori kerin ese ike dogun but we have not an high priest which cannot be touched with the feeling of our infirmities but was in all points tempted like as we are yet without sin nitori akoni olori alufa ti ko le sa ibani kedun ninu ailera wa eni ti ati danwo ni ona gbogbo gege bi awa sugbon la ilese in chapter 7 of hebrews verse 26 ninu ori keje heberu ese ikerin din ni ogbon for such an high priest became us who is holy harmless undefiled separate from sinners and made higher than the heavens nitori pe iru olori alufa be ni o ye wa mimo ailegan aileeri ti aya si oto kuro ninu elese ti a si gbe gaju awon orun lo those references show us that christ is righteous and holy awon ese ti a ti kayi fihan wa wi pe christ je olooto o si je mimo but not only that is also true ki se pe je olododo tabi mimo nikan o tun je olotito and the fullness of truth came from him ekun rere otito si jade lati odo re in john chapter 1 verse 14 ninu johanu ori kin ni ese ikerin la john chapter 1 verse 14 johanu ori kin ni ese ikerin la and the word was made flesh and dwelt among us and we beheld his glory the glory as of the only begotten of the father full of grace full of truth oro na si di ara o si nba wa gbe awa si nwo ogo re ogo bi ti omo bibi kan soso lati odo baba wa okun fun ore ofe ati otito in john chapter 14 verse 6 ninu johanu ori kerin la ese ikefa jesus says unto him i am the way the truth and the life no man comes unto the father but by me jesus wi fun pe emi ni ona ati otito ati iye then the fact that he had the key of David, and I told you that symbolizes authority and power. And that when he opens, no man can shut. That is the very consequence of the fact that he has a key of David. That is telling us that he has the master key. And it is the key you use in opening. And then the Bible says that when Jesus uses this key to open, there is no other key, either with man or with the devil or with anyone with the occult to be able to lock what Christ has opened or to be able to open what Christ has locked. Tabi ki o je elegbe o kukun, tabi ki o je eishu tabi anwe mi eishu funare, ti o le shi on ti kristi ti ti yi, tabi ti kristi ba ti, to le shi on ti o ti, tabi ki o ti on ti o shi. In Isa chapter 22 verse 22. Ninu, Isa ya uri keji le logun, Isa ya keji le logun. Isa chapter 22 verse 22. Isa ya uri keji le logun, Isa ya keji le logun. And the key of the house of David will I lay upon his shoulder, so... That is, as a reason of that, it shall open, and none shall shut, and it shall shut, and none shall open. Ishika, ile dafidi, ni emi ofi le e jikare. Yo si shi, e yini pe eni tori kokoro tati file lawa yi, yo si shi, ko si si aniti yoti. Then in Matthew chapter 28 verse 18. And Jesus came and spake unto them saying, All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. Jesus is I want you to notice that in all these letters to the churches we are reading and studying that Jesus Christ introduces himself 
to different churches in different ways. Please follow me back to the book of Revelation. To the churches, to the church in Ephesus. He introduces himself as he that holds the seven stars in his right hand. Who walketh in the midst of the seven golden candlesticks. In verse 8, he introduces himself in a different way to the church in Smyrna. So the church in Smyrna, the way he introduces himself is that I am the first and the last he that was dead and is now alive. In verse 18 to the church in Tatira, you know the way he introduces himself as the son of God who has eyes like unto a flame of fire and his feet are like fine brass. In chapter 3, verse 1, the way he introduced himself to the church in Sardis, he said, It was he that has the seven spirits of God and the seven stars as well. In verse 14 of chapter 3, to the church of the Lord Jesus, he said, I'm the Amen and the faithful and the true witness, the beginning of the creation of God. But in the case of this church in Philadelphia, see the way he introduced himself. He said, I am he that is holy. I am he that is true. I am he that has the key of David, the key of authority. What's the reason for this different, peculiar introduction of Christ to this church? The state of each church, the condition of each church, the faithfulness or the faithlessness of each church depended on how Christ now introduced himself. Demanded a kind of a different kind of introduction. So the Holy Church in Philadelphia, Christ introduced himself, I am the Holy One. I am the source of all holiness, he said. So the true and faithful church of Philadelphia, he said, I am the truth. And I am the reason for making truth to be available in your own church. And to the church that has totally submitted to the authority and the control of Christ, he said, I have the key of David, and for you I will open and no man shall shut. I will shut and no man will open. If you want Christ to introduce himself to you in a peculiar way, in a very exalted manner, and to reveal himself to you in great authority and power, you will have to be faithful because you see your state, your spiritual state and condition, and the way you're obedient to God and faithful to God will help you to have a peculiar introduction of Christ unto you and also to your church. Christ 
Oni yo so, ona ti yo gba o, ati ijo re. Let's now go to point two, the reasons for commendation, for praise coming from Christ for this church. Eje kewa lo sinu koko keji ba yi, awan yi di, kun yi bori nyi, awan yi di te krisi fi nyi ijo yi. In Revelation chapter 3 verse 8. Nini we yi fi ori keta, ese yi kejo. I know thy works, behold, I have set before thee an open door, that no man can shut it. For thou hast a little strength, and hast kept my words, and hast not denied my name. E mi ma ishe ere, ki e si, mokbe ile konti o shi kale ni waji ure, ti ko si eni ti o leti, pe, i wani agbara die, i wasi kpa oro mi mo, i wako si se oru ko mi. But then, because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee in the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. E se ike wa, ni tori ti i wati kpa oro su uru mi mo, Emi pelu yo pa omo kuro ninu wakati idanwo tin bo wa de ba gbogbo aye lati da awon tin gbe ori ile aye wo So start with let us notice that this church that Christ commended Jesus said in verse 10 that it has just a little strength Ni bere na ki awo ijo yi ti Christ n bori yin fun Christ so nipa re ni ese ike wa pe oni agbara die sorry in verse 8 it says for thou hast a little strength and hast kept my word ese ike jo lo ti so be ti o wi pe iwo ni agbara die iwo si pa oro mi mo what an encouragement that is some people are say i don't have great strength i don't have a mighty strength i'm just a regular normal ordinary christian and i don't think i have great great grace and that's not an excuse for disobedience it's not an excuse for being unfaithful it says because because you have a little strength, you have kept my word. Iru oro, i mulokan le ati i funi lokun woni e yi, pe i woni agbara die, i wasi kwa oro mi man, amina man wipe oma, ngo ni agbara kupo, oma jola san ni mi, nki ishe ni ti igba ujuma la ani ijo, ni tori i die, i wole fi e yi, kewa la ti shi a igbona, shubele ki ishe, di kwa la ti shi a igbona, tabi la ti je ala isho to, jesu wipe, he won the agbara die. He won the power of mima. In fact, you know, if you look through the Bible, you will see that the people that did great things for God and the people that were faithful to God, when you really examine their lives and you examine what they, they had, they had just a little strength. Nito, to ti oba wonu nbo bo bibeli. O ripe, a won ti won she gudu gudu meji ati ya ya mefa kun o luwa. Won ji a won e ninyan. Ti won ko ni okun pupo. Ti won ko ni agbara pupo. You will see that as Jesus commented on how Peter walked on the water. In fact, the faith by which he walked on the water was just a little faith. Oh, the baby Christ only what in sorrow, nepa. Rinri, tikpete rinri, lori omi. Igbagbo, tikpete runi lati ni lori omi. Igbagbo kekere ni. And you will see that many people, all they had was just that little strength and that little faith. But by the grace of God, they were able to remain faithful unto the Lord. O si shi awari kwe lupe, o kwa lo kwa wani igbagbo be. O kun tabi agbara die, igbagbo kekere ba yini wani shubani pori of your lono. With that little strength you have, you can make restitution. With that little strength you have, you can live according to the word of God. With that little strength you have, you can endure persecution and stand firm in the word of God. With that little strength you have, you can walk humbly and gently and holily before your God. There Jesus Christ said, I know thy word. He said in verse 8, you have a little strength and has kept my word. You was the power of You see what Christ is looking for? O Monte Christi Wangwa. It is not jumping a very high hurdle, just keeping the word of God. You see what Christ is looking for? You see what Christ is looking for? It's not telling you to fell a tree, that is to make a tree to fall down by prayer and by authority, just to keep the word of God. Ki se ko le fi adura. 
bi ko se pe nipa giduro sisin lori olorun ki o pa oro olorun mo he wants you simply to read the word of god and see the commandments of god and keep the word of god in your life on ton bere na ni pe ki o ma ka oro olorun ki ori awon ase ati opi olorun ki o si pa oro na mo ninu aye re these were people that kept his word awon eniyan ti o pa oro re mo ni yi and then it says you have not denied my name o si tun wi pe iwo ko si se oruko mi in the day of temptation did he deny the name of the lord ni ojo in the in the day when they were being called to compromise he said no we are not going to compromise we are going to keep to the word of god ni akoko ti won pe won pe ki won wa gbojege won ni nda oyin owu to de a o ni gbojege a o duro lori oro olorun it still says in verse 7 because thou hast kept the word of my patience o tun so ni ese ikejo sibe wi pe iwo pa oro suru mi mo and you see that christ was praising this church because They kept the word of God. They obeyed the word of God. They stood by and stood for and defended the word of God to the point that they did not deny His name. Ni o ri pe Christi ni ijo yi pe won pa oro un mo, won tu oro un sinu oka won. Won duro lori oro re, won ja gidigidi lati pa igbagbo yi mo, won ko si se oruko re. They were standing by all that that name stands for in the face of all persecution, opposition and temptation. Won duro lori ongbogbo ti oruko yi duro fun bi o ti le je pe inu ni bi ni ati atako dide si won won ko se oruko na That is a mark and the evidence for a, for a real faithful church Ami idani mo to to fun ijo ti o je oloto ni yi A faithful church always remains true to Christ and true to the gospel Ijo ti o je oloto ma n je oloto si Christi ati si yin rere ni gbagbogbo Let us see other references in scripture to confirm what Christ is saying here to this church E je ki awon awon Bibeli miran lati fi di onti Christ n so fun ijo yi mule In the gospel according to St John chapter 14 Ninu iwe irere ti Johanu ori kerin la Verse 23 Ese iketa le logun Jesus answered and said unto him If a man love me he will keep my words and my father will love him and we will come unto him and make our abode with him Jesus down o si wi fun pe bi enikan ba feran mi yo pa oro mi mo baba mi o si feran re awa o si to wa a o si se gbugbe wa pelu re the evidence of your love for christ the evidence of the, of the fact that you are following the lord and you are faithful to the lord that you love the lord and you are keeping the word of god ami idani loju pe o feran olorun ami idani loju pe o feran christi oni pe o n pa oro christi mo o si duro lori gbogbo ase re ni gba gbogbo and of course when you do that the blessings of god will be upon your life daju daju ni gba ti o ba si nse leyi awon ibukun olorun yo ma san ninu aye re you will confess his name you will not deny his name o ma je wo oruko re o ko ni se oruko re anywhere you are you will make people know that you are a christian and you stand for what the name of christ stands for ni bi ki bi ti o ba wa o ma je wo wi pe christian ni o O si ma duro lori on ti oruko Jesu Kristi tumo si Matthew chapter 10 verse 32 Matthew ori kewa ese ikeji ile ni ogbon Whosoever therefore shall confess me before men him will I confess before my father which is in heaven Nitori na eni keni ti o ba jewo mi ni waju eniyan oni emi o jewo pelu ni waju baba mi tin be ni orun in first john chapter 2 and verse 3 ninu joanu kin ni ori keji ese iketa first john chapter 2 verse 3 joanu kin ni ori keji ese iketa and hereby we do know that we know him if we keep his commandments nipa eyi ni a si mo pe awa mo bi awa ba npa ofin re mo let's go to point 3 riches of christ's grace e je ki a lo sinu isori keta awon oro ori ofe christi and all this we find in verses 8 to 10 of revelation chapter 3 the promises that he made for them what he said he was going to do for that church as a result of their faithfulness as a result of their holiness as a result of keeping to his name as a result of not denying the truth of the word of god gbogbo eyi la ri ninu ese ikejo titi di ese ikewa ifian ori keta ti a tin keko asiri ileri ti christi fi fun ijo yi ni nitori pe won ji olooto nitori pe won ji olododo nitori pe won pa oro re mo 
Nitori pe won do lori oruko na ati pelu pe won ko si se oruko re There were three peculiar promises that Jesus gave to this church Awon ileri meta ti o je aroto ni Christ bi fun ijo yi Number 1 is set an open door before them that no man can shut Akoko ni pe Number two, he said all opposers will be humbled before them because they are beloved of God. Number three, he said they will be exempted from the hour of trial which will come upon the whole world. That means they are going to be exempted from the great tribulation. Let's see them one by one. In verse 8, it says, I know thy works. Behold, I have set before thee an open door, and no man can shut it. What the Lord is saying to the true church, to the holy church, to the faithful church, is that he will use the key of his authority and open a door of opportunity, a door of ministry, a door of success, a door of achievement, a door before them that no man, no devil can shut. For as an individual who is faithful unto God, as a church that is faithful unto the Lord, at any time, in any age, Christ opens the door that no power on earth or in hell can shut. It is an it is an open door to God and to the riches of Christ. And if you want such a privilege, all you need to do is to make sure that you are holy by the cleansing of the blood of Jesus, that you are faithful by the strength of Christ within you. And then it says, I set an open door before you that no man can shut. The second privilege or benefit or blessing that Christ promised these people is found in verse 9. He says, Behold, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan, which say they are Jews and are not. But do lie. Behold, I will make them to come and worship before thy feet, and to know that I have loved thee. There are some people that say, I want people to know that I'm serving God. I want the enemies of righteousness that is opposing the grace of God in my life. I want them to be humbled and I want them to bow down. I want them to realize that Christ is mine and I am his. There are some people that will pray and fast for a long time so that all this synagogue of Satan and the people that are occultic, the people that are satanic, they want them to bow down, they want them to show respect, to know that I am serving God. It is not by praying and fasting, it is by keeping to the word of God. If you are faithful to the word of God, here is a promise, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan to come to worship before for thy feet. I want to go to the house. 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 I 
ki se nipa awe ati adura ni bi ko se nipa jiji olooto ati olodoro si olorun o wi pe bi o ba le ji olooto oyo mu ki awon ti sinagogu satani ti won wi pe ju ni awon ti won ki ti se be ki won wa fori bale ni waju re you see for this church in philadelphia they were opposers that were religious and they claimed to be of god they hated they ridiculed, they persecuted and spoke against the believers, these saints of God in Philadelphia. But Jesus said, all these opposers will bow down before their feet. Omo, um, unijo yi ni Philadelphia, awan lata ku wan yi jye le sin. Mwan si, nje wakwe, awan jye ti olorun. Awan lata ku wan yi ni korira, mwan kegan, mwan shenu ni bini. Mwan si soro lo di, si awan ni bagbo, e yi ni ni awan yon mima, awan anyo fi olorun. Nini joni Philadelphia, jesu wa wipe gege bi awon latako on yo ti teri ba labe se o be ni awon latako won yi yo se wa si idajo ti won yo si teri ba ni ese ijo olododo you remain faithful to the word of god and you will find that eventually all those supposers of truth and righteousness that are challenging you saying where is your god eventually christ says he will make them to bow down iwo sa duro sinsin ninu ijo looto re si olorun sibe o si ri pe lai pe lai jina gbogbo awon latako won yi Number three, the promise he gave them is that he will make them to escape the horrors and the wrath and the judgment and the trial and all the suffering of the great tribulation. That is in verse 10. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come to upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. Nitori ti iwo ti pa oro suru mi mo, emi pelu yo pa mo kuro ninu wakati idan wo, tin bo wa de ba gbogbo aye. Already Christ was referring to the fact that the great uh, tribulation was going to come upon those who are not prepared, but that these who are faithful and these who have been who are who are not denying his name, that he will keep them from that terrible hour of suffering which will come upon all the world. Christine talk as he a coco y conjun lana tiombo wa sori bogwa ye tiombo wa sori bogwa wa lai wa be alone. Shugbon fun awon olooto yi awon ti o pa oro re mo o mu da won loju pe oun yo pa won mo kuro ninu wakati idanwo ti o nbo wa sori gbogbo aye if you want all these precious blessings peculiar blessings in your life what you need to do is to be faithful to the word of god ti o ba nfe ki gbogbo awon ileri ti o seye biye awon ibukun alailegbe yi ki o je tire ohun ti oni lati se na ni pe ki o je olooto si gbogbo oro olorun point number 4 readiness for his coming koko kerin imura sile fun bibo re in verse 11 it says behold i come quickly behold a hold that fast which thou hast that no man take thy crown ni ese ikokan lo wi pe ki yesi emi nbo ni sisin yi Today we can say without any shadow of doubt with all the things that we see around that the coming of the Lord is very near. Loni la isi ye meji kankan la ife po boyo pe lui dani lo ju ale wipe bi bo lu wa osume ti le ju ti aten wa lo. It will be sudden. People will not know before it happens. It will happen suddenly. Ipa da bo lu wa yo shele lo jiji. And to avoid being unprepared for his coming, we are commanded to watch and to be ready. Ki o ma ba si de ba wa lo jiji, a pa la shekun wa la ti ma shona ki a si mura si le. We are commanded to hold that fast which we have, that is the word of God which we have, the grace of God which we have, the Christian experiences which we have, to hold everything fast so that we do not lose our crown or reward or even lose our life. As it unpa shekun wa wipe, ani la ti di e yi ti ani mu shin shin, ki a di oro lor nun ti ani mu shin shin, ki a di ori ope lor nun ti ani mu shin shin, ki a di awan yuri kristen ni ti ani mu shin shin, ki a ma ba akpa danu a de wa, ki a ma ba akpa danu e re wa, ba akpa julo ki a ma ba akpa danu e mi wa. In Revelation chapter 16 and verse 15, nini iwe yi fin an, ori ken i din ni ogun, esa i ke e dogun, Behold I come as a seed blessed is he that watcheth, and keepeth his garments, lest he walk naked, and the sea is shame. Ki e si, mumbo, biole, ibukun ni fun e ni tin shona, ti o si mpa shore ma, 
ki o ma ba rin ni ihoho won a si ri itiju re while we are waiting for the coming of the lord what should we be doing bi a tin duro de bi bo oluwa ki lo n to ye ka ma se gan in luke chapter 19 and verse 13 ninu iwe luke ori kokan din logun ese iketala luke chapter 19 verse 13 luke ori kokan din ni ogun ese iketala and he called his ten servants and delivered them ten pounds and said unto them Occupy till I come. O si pe awon mo do re mewa o fi mi na mewa fun won o si wi fun won pe e ma showo titi emi o fi de. You see there should be a balance between being holy and being dutiful active in the service of the Lord in evangelism. O mo wi pe o n gbogbo gbodo gun rege nipa bi wa ni imura sile de bibo oluwa on the one hand, hold the Christian grace, hold the word of God, hold that purity that you have got so that no man will take your crown. On the other hand, occupy in evangelism, preaching the gospel until I come. In Revelation chapter 19, from verse 7, let us be glad and rejoice and give honor to him, for the marriage of the lamp is come, and the wife has made herself ready. How did the bride of Christ make herself ready? Verse 8 to her was granted that she should be she should be arrayed in fine linen, clean and white. For the fine linen is the righteousness of the saints. Verse 9. Behold, I come quickly, hold that fast which thou hast, that no man take thy crown. Before we pray, let us round up with the reward for the conqueror. The reward for the conqueror. In Revelation chapter 3 from verse 12. Him that overcometh will I make a pillar in the temple of my God, and he shall go no more out, and I will write upon him the name of my God, and the name of the city of my God which is new jerusalem which cometh down out of heaven from my god and i will write upon him my new name eni ti o ba segun oni emi o fi si ohun ninu temple olorun mi o nki o si jade kuro ni be mo emi o si koruko olorun mi si lara ati orupo ilu olorun mi ti se jerusalem titun ti o nti orun sokale lati odo olorun mi wa Looking at that verse, I've read to you that he will make such a person a pillar in the temple of God. Then in that same verse 12, it says he will have a permanent residence in the presence of God. That same verse 12 it says he will have a, the name of God upon him. He will have an identity, identification with God forever and ever. Even the name of the city of my God, the new Jerusalem, saying that he will so much be a person in that city of, of the of the Lord, in the new Jerusalem, he will have a title, he will have the title deed, even unto a place there that nobody can say that he doesn't belong there. Then he said, I will write upon him my new name. 
He will bear my name everywhere he goes in the courts of glory that everybody will know he belongs to me is a jewel of Christ. There is so much awaiting those who are faithful to the end. There are crowns to wear, there are names to bear, there are joys to share. Once we enter into that eternal city, the city of our living God, we are eternally secured and shall never be forgotten again. And as the bride bears the name of the bridegroom throughout life, so the overcomers shall bear Christ's new name forever, since we belong to him forever. We have heard so much, we have learned so much in this study. And Christ concluded the message by saying, He that has ears, let him hear what the Spirit says unto the churches. Let us conclude with Luke chapter 9, verse 44. Luke chapter 9 verse 44. Luke chapter 9 verse 44. Luke chapter 9 verse 44. Let these saints sink down into your ears. All that we have heard today, let these words, these saints sink deep into your ears. I told you at the very beginning that there, this church in Philadelphia, there was no word of condemnation. If God could do it for that whole church, I believe God can do it for you. But if God is going to do it for you, you have to desire it. That whatever purging it takes, whatever thing God will have to do, whatever transformation is necessary, that Christ will do it even this day, so that you will be an individual Christian with no condemnation from God, but everything will be condemnation from the Lord. I mean, there will be no condemnation at all. Everything will be commendation and praise and appreciation from the Lord. These words we have learned today, don't let them fall to the ground. Let these saints sink down into your ears. Let's rise up and talk to the Lord in prayer. That that same grace that was made available to this church in Philadelphia will be available unto you. That the righteousness of Christ will be available to you. And that you yourself with all the grace of God, with all the teaching we are receiving, that Christ will make you so righteous, there will be no blemish, there will be no stain in your life. If you allow the Lord to do what He wants to do, He wants to make you part of His glorious church.
believe you have been blessed don't let this message die listen to it again and pass it to others you can get more from god at the deeper life bible church our headquarters is deeper life bible church bagada lagos nigeria blessed are your ears for hearing these things we'll meet in heaven if you do them